everybody. Oh, looks like the sun's going down in my world. I have a machine up here that automatically makes it day as soon as it gets dark enough. Ha! Huh, see, there's the sun. You'll notice. Uh-oh. Hmm. Any case, uh, this is it. Just a, a daylight sensor and an inverted signal and a command block. We are in... What is this? 13W04A, I think? Yes, 13W04A. And uh, some of you who are fans of Paul Source Jr. might recognize this place because this is his jungle temple. There's a village over that way and a ravine down there and another ravine down there. And there goes a minecart. What do you know? Well, that's the subject of this video today. Uh, while it's making its circuit here, you can see I've also got a bunch of hoppers over here with chickens. And they drop their eggs, and the hoppers pick them up, and they go in this chest here. Alright, Mr. Minecart should be coming along. He'll pause and take off. What is he doing? Well, you'll notice there's hoppers here. There's a chest. And I want to show you, as long as these hoppers have anything in them, they emit a redstone signal that can be picked up by a redstone comparator. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm having that invert this torch so that it turns off this uh, powered rail, which right now there's nothing in there, so it turns right back on. What happens is the, the minecart comes up here, crosses this detector rail, which turns this off for about a second or so. Uh, just long enough for, for it to drop something in this, these hoppers here if it has anything inside of it. And uh, as you'll notice, when I put these bones in this hopper, the, the torch went out. Well, you'll see in a bit... I'm going to take the stuff out of here. I've already recorded this video once. But, uh, there. We'll put that in there. And you'll see... The chest will come along here in a second, hopefully. I have to put some more in. There. And it'll, it'll stop. What it does is it comes across this detector rail that turns that rail off. It stops. It starts dropping things into the hopper if it has anything inside it. And once it does that and the hopper is empty, it will go along its merry way. Which wasn't a very good example because I hit the wrong button several times. But that's okay. You get the point. You see what I mean. I hope. If not, I'm sorry. Alright, let's grab these. Need those later. I'm going to get some seeds while I'm down here, while I'm doing thinking about it. Uh, there we go. Now then. Come on. I want to see it one more time before I go. I know it's got to be down there. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? There it comes. I'm not sure why I'm not hearing the rail sounds. I can hear the chickens just fine. In any case. Let's go here. I have had a cold recently. I'm still getting over a chest cold, so if I cough, I'll try to hit my mute button. Anyway, let's go down here. That uh, track goes out, and it goes underground. It comes down this way, and it's actually behind, behind this. I'm not going to step through that portal, but it's behind the portal. You can see the tracks back there, I'm sure. It turns left and comes down here. And if there is anything in this hopper, oh, see, same thing there. And you'll even notice I have a detector rail here. But uh, <clears throat> you'll see that when the tra when it comes down this way, in a minute, I'm also gonna just go down here, drop some uh, bones in here. Uh, it'll come along. There, see, now it's picking up the seeds. 
here. When it's finished, that hopper, when it's empty, it'll release the cart, and the cart will be able to go down there. Let's see here, eight, seven, six. Now watch, it'll run out. There goes the cart. Awesome. Now the, the cart comes down here, and it starts getting up these bones here. Oh, I hate that. Whoa, what happened? Oh, ha. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go up here. The cart is over there doing its thing. Hopefully it's not finished already. And no, it's not. All right. When the hopper is actually empty, it's being filled from this cart. When the hopper empties itself, it'll release the cart. The cart can move on. And I'll show you this circuit in just a minute. But there, see, hopper's empty. Cart moves on. Uh, this is just for the two intermediate stops. The terminal on the other end with the bones doesn't need this because of the way it functions. So, let's go up here. We'll, we'll trace the tracks from one end to the other. Okay, so comes out here and goes down into here. Oh, this thing is self-resetting, by the way, as long as I don't mess up it mess it up on this end goes down here gets that and you saw how that worked turns off these until it see there it goes now we'll go down here as you can see it's doing its thing here all right there was nothing to pick up so it stopped so now there should be something to pick up all right as you could see it got some arrows and some bones in here. And that means that ah, right here, this redstone comparator picked up the. Up there, see? Emptied it out. It picked up the signal here because this is emitting a redstone signal. It has something in it, so therefore, this picks it up. And it's not a very strong signal, so that's why I have this repeater in here. And it runs a redstone signal down here, injects it into this block, there, uh, thus turning off this redstone torch. Now, when that empties, you'll notice that redstone comparator will go off and the cart will take off. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very simple to build. Uh, all you really need is a couple of some redstone, a redstone torch, a couple of uh, repeaters, and it's important that you use the comparator here because a repeater won't pull a signal out of this hopper. So that's why you need that there. Anyway, the the uh, there it goes the cart drops from above where it picks up seeds. Then it comes down here and it has nothing in it, so it moves on. All right, now we're gonna move on back up into the jungle temple jungle ruin whatever you want to call it and that's the circuit it's a basically just a loop circuit that stops at three different stations checks to see if it needs to load or unload uh, self-contained you don't have to do anything except to empty this uh, this chest here have anything to drop off? No. No, it doesn't. Anyway, all you have to do is empty this chest here, which I'm going to put stuff in it because I don't want to mess with that. Empty my inventory. There we go. But that's it's actually fairly simple. Uh, cart comes along, hits that detector rail, it turns off this torch. Uh, that gives it time, gives the cart time to come over here and stop and drop things into the hopper if necessary. So if anything is in the hopper, it sends a signal and this, this torch doesn't turn back on. 
until the cart is empty and the hopper is emptying in, empty into the chest below. When this hopper is empty, turns the red, redstone signal back on and takes off. Simple. Uh, deceptively sim uh, simple. It, it's not. I think that's what the term I'm looking for. Yeah. In any case, it's not as complicated as it sounds. I know that if you don't know anything about redstone, and I'm not an expert, believe me, there are a lot of people out there who are better than I am at this sort of thing. But I came up with this myself. I mean, I, I'm sure some somebody else has also come up with it, but I had never seen it before. I started with the concept that uh, hoppers emit a redstone signal, and that you can pull that redstone signal out with a comparator. And with that, I made this. Uh, not to say that I invented this, because I certainly did not, I'm sure. But I came up with it myself, and I'm kind of proud of that, because I'm just kind of a geek. But, dude, what are you doing down there? Why are you sticking through the wall? Ah, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll uh, see you later, and hopefully I can get up on the videos a little more often. Uh, still a pain in the butt recording video on Linux. Uh, there is a program out there called Kazam. This is it right here. Um, they're really not very good. Uh, it's getting better, but you can only record a few minutes with it and then it crashes. Uh, to, to be honest, the whoever wrote Kazam, they need to stop trying to encode on the fly. Or, in, or write to memory and then encode afterwards. What they need to do is they need to encode their video the, uh, on the fly, but encode it to MKV or Matroska format with perhaps black video or audio. Um, that would make things smooth. Uh, that's how I'm recording this. Basically, I'm using, here I'll show you, I'm using FFmpeg. Uh, I'm recording video and game audio there and I'm using sound recorder here to record my voice and you'll notice the little blue thing here jumping up and down in time with my voice that's all I'm doing uh, not doing anything rocket sciencey but it would be nice to have one program that I could do this with and Kazam is getting there it's just not there yet so now I'm going to have to edit these these audio, or edit them together, strip them out of the video, uh, combine, uh, mux the two audio streams, combine them back with the video. It's a pain in the butt. That's why I don't put out a lot of videos on Linux. And I'm sorry, I wish I could, but for my all of my seven seven subscribers out there, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video anyway. Maybe somebody will come along and see it and enjoy it as well. Uh, you can see the cart still doing its thing. Uh, I'm not near the uh, spawner over there, so it's not doing anything. But I'll uh, I'll let you guys go now. I know that this is drawn on a little longer than it should have, so we'll just uh, for now we'll say peace and see you later. Bye.